give it to the camera? This is Lassie. This is really what stretching turns into every morning. It's her favorite time of the day. She works with me, um, lays across my laptop as I'm working. She's the best coach. And she sits over in her little um, window seat and watches me earn every morning. So, she's the best. I'm Molly Moore. I am a U.S. Rowing Paranational team athlete. Yeah. I love 60s and 70s rock. That is what I listen to. Um, even last week, I went to an Alice in Chains concert, specifically Jerry Cantrell, who's a former guitarist um, for Alice in Chains. <laughs> Beatles and Van Halen, I would say, are my top two artists. I have my Van Halen poster up there. And the Beatles in the living room. I grew up in Indianapolis, Indiana, um, and moved to Boston for college. I started rowing in college um, for Radcliffe as a walk-on. I am getting my PhD in public policy with a focus in judgment and decision making. So that is essentially behavioral science or very related to behavioral economics. Currently I am studying how reputation and impression management concerns can impact somebody's decision making. So for example, if I'm deciding whether or not to give to a charity and somebody else is watching me, I might be more likely to give than if I'm deciding to give to a charity but I'm in private. A lot of my research focuses on um, selective exposure and political identity. The ultimate goal is how we can harness our reputations and these impression management concerns um, to reduce political polarization. Bigger picture is to stay in academia and become a professor at a liberal arts school. I was born with bilateral club feet, which means that my feet were pretty much born backwards. Um, they say it's not genetic, yet my family is actually in a study. I'm the third woman um, in each generation. Basically, every woman has had club feet, and it just keeps getting worse by generation. So I ended up having complete reconstructive surgery at nine months old, and still to this day, just have a lot of trouble bending my ankle or with kind of the power in my ankle and wear braces to help with that. An advisor once told me that it was a zero-sum game to do rowing and a PhD. Every hour that I spent on rowing was an hour that I wasn't spent doing my dissertation. Um, and I just simply don't think that's true. I think that they compound on each other and each helps me um, be able to concentrate and improve towards the goals in both aspects of life. In 2016 and 2020 or 2021, um, I was the alternate for the Olympic team, um, which I have to say is a little soul crushing, but it has also given me motivation to try to keep pushing. So my goal, my end goal is to make 2024 Paris. I started CrossFit um, three years ago, right after college. I was kind of drowning in the world of rowing and um, not getting any faster. I was looking for some other outlet that I could help boost my training, essentially. I fell in love with the energy of CrossFit and it kind of gave me a motivation again for athletics in general. Um, and has really helped rowing, I would say, a lot too. Para rowing is for athletes of any disability level. Um, I am a PR3 athlete, which means that I have use of my legs, trunk, and arms to row. There are also the designations of PR2, which is um, trunk and arms, and then PR1, which is basically just use of your arms. So there's been a lot of technological advancements with um, different boat manufacturers, and I'm excited for the future of para within US rowing. She can do this all day. <laughs> <laughs>